Okay, um, excuse the shooting. I got I got a shooting range right up the road from me here, and they're uh, they're practicing. So you probably hear the gunshots in the background. If it ain't rain, it's shooting. <laughs> but instead of trying to explain how, what I'm trying to do with this, I'm just going to kind of show you. Um, it'd be easier just to show you, but I'm going to briefly explain it. So what I've done was I have the back of the the gullet here, and this is basically a blank. And I've cut me a little piece of wire and I've bent it to the shape of the gullet. And then I went out and cut, also measured the width, and I got I got a piece for the width and then a piece for the tongue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make this piece here, I cut this piece out here, and I will start finishing this out to a gullet piece and tongue. And then I have the template here so that it will match the back of the, the gullet on the fish. So I'm just going to, I don't know what I'm doing, uh, this is just something I got in my head. And I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to try it. So I'm going to bring you along with me here and uh, and and see if it'll work. So I'm going to get started on it. And let me get the camera turned around. And we'll just see how it goes. All right, I've also got the shape of the gullet. It's kind of squared off. So what I'll do is I'll cut the back of this to kind of fit this shape, if that makes sense. And then I'll slowly start trying to piece it in. And then what I'll do is my plan is to shape the front of this to the tongue and the gill raker points that the gill rakers will attach. And I also have the roof of the mouth that I think is in the right shape that I can attach the top of the gill rakers to. So I'm gonna get started and let's see where it goes. And I don't know where to start. <laughs> uh, I think I'm just going to start on the inside here just to kind of get it rough, roughed out. And glasses on.
told you, I don't know what I'm doing here. I haven't ever done an open mouth like this and I probably went about the wrong way. I know I probably could have I probably could have left solid in here and probably could have made it look like gills and then had enough room inside here to make it look like this side of the gills but it kind of defeats the purpose of being able to see all the way through so that's my goal. I just need to know how far down to take it. It's just going to be a little bit at a time, so. Okay, I think I'm at a stopping point for tonight but before I get too far ahead of myself. Uh, you can see this will this will be the tongue. And these will get hollowed out here between the this is this is where the gill rakers will go, the bottom of them. And I may cut them off a little shorter, which I probably will. Anyway, I'm going to look it over for a couple days or a day or so and um, just kind of mull it over a little bit, study it, and then uh, I'll go from there. So for you, it'll just be a second. For me, it's going to be a day or so. But you can kind of see the gullet also will be the throat actually would be carved in here so that all that will be carved into a gullet shape and I'll probably use a little bit of epoxy sculpt to blend it to the body and um, and I may even just cut this piece off and form all this with epoxy sculpt and that way I can blend it to the roof of the mouth and this and blend this in. So but let me put the mouth lower jaw on there so you can kind of get an idea. Well, straighten out there. So, so you can kind of see how that's forming there. But anyway, I'll be back for you. It'll just be a second. For me, it's going to be a day or so. Okay, so it's been a couple days since I worked on it. Um, but what I've done is I've, I've studied it, looked at it, looked at reference photos back and forth and just kind of got a better idea where I need to go with it. 
Uh, and I also got to go fishing yesterday uh, for the first time in a couple months. And uh, we caught some crappie and we caught a couple bass. So I brought them home and cleaned them. But and I did a little bit of uh, dissection on the bass. I'm not going to show that because I don't think YouTube looks kindly under that. But what I did do, I'll, I'll show you some pictures. I dissected the gills out and looked at the inside of the structure of the mouth a little closer so I was able to see the inside. That's how I know I need to do a little bit of work on this tongue. I've got it close. It just needs to be a little shorter and a little narrower in the back, but that's not going to be a big deal. But I did learn something on fish gills that I didn't know. And, then, and I've got them printed on this piece of paper in three different sizes. Uh, just so that I could kind of get an idea what size I was going to need. And they're going to be this larger size here. But what I didn't know about gills is where they curve here. The section where they, they hook here, that's hinged. So the gill will open and close with the fish's mouth. And I never really realized that. So, and the other thing I learned that I never paid that much attention to is the outer gill close to the cheek, on the bass anyway, that outer gill is the only one that has the little rakers on it. So, um, and I, like I say, I didn't know that. I always assumed they all had some to some extent. Now, these other ones do have little nodule bumps on them that run the, the inside face of the length of the... Um, gill and then right on the top here there's a little tooth pad um, I think that when they close their mouth it just kind of helps hold the prey in place but what I also done was I went in and let me find it here I went ahead and cut a, a mock piece and, or mock praxis piece and I painted it and just to kind of get a feel for what I was going to do to carve it and I I'm I'm fairly happy with it. I just need to I just need to cut the the shape here. And how I'm going to do that is, and uh, I'm going to turn the camera down here just one second where you can see it. But how I plan on doing that is taking a piece of this steel tying wire. Uh, it's for tying uh, rebar. And. I've had that roll. It's just a roll Dad's had in the shop for <laughs> I don't God knows how long. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the length that's going to match the gill. I'm going to cut them just a little bit longer than than I'm going to need, and I'm going to get it close. But once I get this mounted inside the mouth, then I'll take this piece here and stick it on the pair of hemostats and then I'll, I'll go inside the gill because my fingers are too fat to go in but I'll go inside the gill so you can kind of see like this and then I can tell it's going to attach here and then it'll attach on the roof of the mouth and I'll be able to shape that and to the size I need and the shape, the overall shape that I'll need to fit. So I'll do one for each position. There's four on each side. So I'll do that. And once I get all these cut, then I'll have my templates that I'll draw out on the scrap piece of wood. I'm gonna have to cut some bigger wood. Um, but I'll draw them all out and then, and then carve them out like this. And I plan on I'm going to go ahead and paint them before I install them. I'm going to get them positioned and I'll know exactly where they go and then I'll paint them and I'm going to go ahead and paint the inside of the mouth and the gullet or the tongue piece and, and glue everything back in place and, and then I'll start gluing these in place. I'm just going to use uh, super glue with a fast set spray so i'll i'll hold it in place and get it in place and have my wife drop the glue on the place where it connects with the 
part of the the, the uh, tongue. And you follow along with me? I hope it's making sense. So I'll have one for each one of them. This one rides real close to the inside of the gullet, uh, the smallest one. Uh, it's actually part of the gullet. The gullet probably actually attaches all the way up to the length of this. So it's, that's not a free floater like these are. So uh, these three are the only ones that have spaces between them. This one actually kind of rides up against the against the inside of the uh, body cavity there. So hopefully Monday I'll start on the fins and um, I got the tail, the tail's already on so I've got a head start there and I've got a set of pelvic fins, I mean uh, pectoral fins left over from uh, the smallmouth bass project I did and they're going to be perfect size for the bass. Uh, just got a little bit of trim work to do on them but the not going to take much, um, but then do that. I got to do the dorsal fin, the anal fin, and then the uh, pelvic fins, and um, and then hopefully two or Wednesday, I hope to have it sanded and start burning the scales on it, and then get those done. I think I can get those done in the day, and then by Thursday get the fins get the fins mounted, get the eyes mounted, and then get it sealed. And by Friday, I hope to start painting. So, so that if I get to the painting stage Friday, that'll give me Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday to finish. And hopefully by Monday morning, I'm putting the finishing touches on there and it'll be, it'll be dry and ready to go Tuesday when we head for Missouri. So, Anyway, that's my goal. I just wanted to let y'all know. Again, I just wanted to let y'all know that um, uh, that's where I stand and what I'm going to be doing for the next week. And I will be recording these. I just don't know how many videos I'll get to upload. So, uh, again, that's kind of why I wanted to let you know what's going on here. Just so you know that I haven't forgot about it or not doing it. So, But I will be recording every step of the way. Um, I just may do when I get back from the competition may do a marathon <laughs> uh, editing session and do the last few parts on the bass so but I uh, appreciate y'all watching and uh, if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button if you like these videos please give me a thumbs up on those and again any comments you have please leave them for me in the comment section below especially suggestions I love the suggestion. So uh, any any and everything helps. So, uh, but I'm going to stop there for tonight. I am going to do a little bit of work on on the inside of the mouth, but I'm going to stop this part now for for now, so that I can get hard and heavy on this. But I appreciate y'all watching, and I will see you on part um, six. <laughs> this is part five, so yeah, part six. I'll see you on part six.